Hello, this is Rima E. Labo, MD. I'm the Medical Director of the Natural Solutions Foundation, and today we're visiting a local organic market in Santiago, Chile. The government did not organize this. A food cooperative did not organize this. Passionate people who believe that organic food is essential for health and liberty have organized this. The organic food comes from the local region around Santiago, and it also comes from much further away. These markets take place typically twice a week in each location at a variety of spots in Santiago and outside of Santiago care about organic products. Hello, my name is Natalia Alveje. I'm 13 years old and I live here in Santiago de Chile. This is an organic market close where I live in. And this is my second time in this market. I prefer to come here and, and uh, do the effort to, to buy, for, for example, my vegetables here because I think it's healthier and, and the taste, of course, is better, much better. Does it cost more money the to buy things here? Yes, uh, some of the things that you, uh, are much more expensive than in the supermarket, but, for example, vegetables, uh, the difference is not, not big, so you can afford that easily. Are other people very interested in organic products here in Chile? I would say yes. Natalia. Well, this, uh, for example, this is the second market that I know. One year ago, I, I didn't know any uh, of these initiatives, and this is developing slowly. Uh, that, I suppose, means that people is getting interested in buying orga organic uh, food and, and, and supplies for their living. What do you think organic food and supplies do for you personally? Uh, well, eating is the, the basis of everything. I mean, your health has a lot to do with what you eat, what you put inside your body, and you realize that when you when you eat something very heavy, you feel tired, and you are, and when you eat healthy, you feel healthy. My opinion. Your experience. My experience. Your experience. Um, do your friends and your family members believe the same? Uh, some, of, some of them, yes. Uh, um, regretfully, not all of them. So you will continue buying organic food. If you could get more organic food, would you buy more? Sure, for sure. Yeah. My name is Paula. Yes, Paula. Paula. I work uh, in organic uh, ten years ago. And we start this market, this is an organic market in Las Tarias, uh, three months ago, and Plaza Peru five months, and Vitacura three, three years ago. And why do you do this, Paula? Uh, why? Because yeah. it's so important the people eat good and the people make the furniture in the, in the camp w without chemic. It's uh, very interesting. It's very interesting because the how we say consumer, the consumer, the consumer, they don't know what Not is yet. happening. No, yet absolutely, they don't know what is happening in in the farms and and how they grow up the this furniture. So it's interesting because here we can to speak with the people and make a rest and and uh, little time to to know how and to know we can uh, to make good. Do you have enough farmers to supply the demand? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And are there more farmers who are interested in becoming chemical-free yeah, farmers? The Chilean market was, the Chilean organic market farmers was uh, go up a lot. I am the, last the medical director of the Natural Solutions Foundation. We are committed to clean food, natural health, and the choice to select whatever you want for yourself. You want a vaccination? Fine. You don't want a vaccination? Fine. Better choice. And food. And we already are a U.S. foundation, uh, and we have a partner in Africa who is teaching people how to grow spectacular food and processing it and selling it internationally. And we're very interested in Chile, very interested. 
for two reasons. One, because you have the capacity to produce amazing food and your organic standards are higher than Codex or the US. Absolutely. Or they're wonderful yeah, standards. Yeah. And two, after Fukushima, March 11, yeah. 2011, the entire Northern Hemisphere is contaminated. Absolutely more and more every day. So our foundation is committed to creating a food supply mm. for the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, now we, are, we have a little problem now in Chile, the, the organic, the transgenic. Transgenic, huge problem. Yeah, but because they come with the, the, the wrong slogan here. They say it's good because they kill all the insects. Yeah. So we have a big problem because the, the people was confused and here. Yeah. So the 2009 we have to open to transgenic and they coming now. Peru singing uh, in February 10 more year. Yeah. So they they don't go to Peru in more than year. Right. Can can it be stopped here? Only if the no, only if the consumer go up. So we are, maybe we, we can help. Absolutely, because because uh, Chile or South America is is the Estados Unidos. Yes. So everything we have to do is about libre comercio with Estados Unidos. Everything yes. is about the Estados Unidos or, or Europe. But we have a little problem.